Hello again, it's now time for business and Kweku Timin is already standing by. Good evening, Kweku. And today, not two good news coming in from the energy sector at all. Well, definitely. Um, Portia, some time back I was in Tema when, you know, the facility was outdoored where it could pump out um, crude oil directly to the Tema oil refinery. Now, Ghanaians should wait patiently because this is huge cost that has come on the nation. I think um, for some time now, managers of this facility would have to um, incur a huge cost in maintaining this particular facility. Not too much of great news for us, Portia, and I think it's going to hit our energy sector strongly. All right, you carry on. All right, so tonight we are looking at other interesting business details with the assurance that we are close going to monitor the activities at the Tema oil refinery but tonight as we look at other developments Ghana is to benefit from a grant of more than 22 million dollars from the Japanese government the grant is to support three projects in the agricultural fishery and the health sectors Cultural project named Food Security for Underprivileged Farmers aims at increasing the capacity of rice production. About $3.2 million will be invested in the procurement of agricultural machines and materials to be sold to farmers. Monies realized from the sales will then be pooled for the counter value fund, which government intends to use for food security and poverty reduction. About $17 million will also be invested in a project for fisheries promotion in Second D, aimed at reducing congestion at fishing ports and increasing marine time production. Another $19 million will be invested in the sector budget support of the Ministry of Health to improve maternal and child health. Areas of cooperation are not limited to the fishery, agriculture and health sectors. Our cooperation covers many other areas including infrastructure, education, human development, and industry through various types of cooperation, such as grant aid project, technical cooperation, and public and private and public partnership. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Hanatete, promised that the grant will be used for its intended purpose. It is our hope that we not only are able to proceed on the basis of grant assistance, which indeed, as I have said, is very much appreciated. But we have a greater presence of the Japanese private sector investing in our economy in ways that are mutually beneficial and create solutions that are relevant to our economy. All right, so we have about 48 hours into, into May Day and Definitely, you would want to know what Labour is thinking ahead of this particular day. Well, I have something from the ICU. And here, the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union, that's ICU, has asked government to freeze all increases on fuel and utility prices in the coming months. So, obviously, they wouldn't want to see any prices up. According to the ICU, if government fails to act on these, coupled with the failure to increase the minimum wage as well as base pay, an industrial Industrial unrest should be triggered. General Secretary of the ICU, Solomon Kote, spoke to our Labour correspondent, Daniel Opoku. ICU also expressed disappointment at government's slow pace in addressing issues about depreciation of the city. It believes the Bank of Ghana's continuous citing of dollarization of the economy as the major problem facing the city is untenable. The Industrial and Commercial Workers Union has asked the government to clearly explain how challenges in the economy could be resolved. Government, come clean, come clear. Let's know how we are fixing the economy. How we are fixing the economy, we don't know. Like this EPA matter they are talking about. Look at what Nigeria has done. Nigeria told the whole world, if we go and sign, we are going to lose over $3 billion. Ghana, what is it? They are telling us stories. They are telling us, excuse my language, as if we are doing production in economies, and then you are told that the factors of production are nearness to market, nearness to road, nearness to that. That's not what we want to hear. Some have accused Labour of being insensitive to government, but they disagree. Labour's patience have been stressed to the limit, to the point that, as I speak to you now, we are not able to negotiate the way we have been negotiating in the past, simply because what the employer will show to you as his challenges are real, real to the point that if 
we are using the automatic adjustment formula you know on fuel on the burc issues okay the employer is using the same things so when he says with that my overheads are becoming too much and therefore, if I need to hold on to salary and I need to hold other few things, it's what to be done. In another development, the ICU has asked the government to properly measure the gains for Ghana before signing the economic partnership agreement. We are afraid because any time promises are made, it is hit with a challenge that is not able to stand the test of time. And we roll back our fortunes. This is where we find ourselves today. All right, looking at other interesting details, the Ministry of Local Government will, by close of this year, win off all metropolitan assemblies. This, according to the Ministry, is to assist government raise enough revenue for local development projects. Sector Minister Akwesi Opon Fosu was addressing a news conference here in Accra today. All right, then just before then, we'll quickly move on and get some updates from our stock market. If you're thinking about investment around the stock market, especially around this time, then you might take a second look because in and around this week, there's been streak of losses from the market. So we'll just look at some few losses today. I'll concentrate on just three of them. I had Car Bank also seeing a marginal decline. A lot of people will tell you that this is an issue of profit taking open, opening at zero. 0.88 that's 88 pesos it closed at 86 pesos losing marginally some two pesos we also saw guel also trading on the market it opened at 90 pesos but then saw a marginal decline also and then we quickly look at that of society general ghana they also saw some loss on the market so those are some of the interesting details we had from our stock market within today world we'll ended here but we're bringing you more stories it's still new 360 so do stay with us we're back shortly with some more updates